get everything you need to know about important news around the world in just two minutes. Just hit subscribe and bell icon and stay updated all the time. US and China diplomatic and defense ships will meet Wednesday for security dialogue. This dialogue will focus on curbing North Korea's nuclear and missile programs. The US State Department said the talks in Washington will involve US Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, Secretary of Defense Jim Mattis, as well as China's top diplomat State Councilor Yang Jiechi and General Fang Fengui, Chief State of the People's Liberal Army. It will be the inaugural session of the US-China Diplomatic and Security Dialogue, a framework launched by President Donald Trump and Chinese President Xi Jinping during a summit in Florida in April. The State Department said the aim was to expand areas of cooperation while narrowing differences on key diplomatic and security issues. U.S.-China ties have warmed since the April summit in spite of continued U.S. concern about China's pursuit of territory in South China Sea and a large trade imbalance. Tillerson has said North Korea will top the agenda next week and made clear that Washington wanted more help from China in pressing Korea to abandon its weapons program, calling Chinese efforts so far notable but uneven. The focus on North Korea has been sharpened by dozens of North Korean missile launches and two nuclear bomb tests since the beginning of last year. North Korea says it is working to develop a nuclear-tipped missile capable of hitting the United States, and this week Mattis called it the most urgent threat to United States national security. On Tuesday, Tillerson said Washington was considering imposing secondary sanctions on foreign firms doing business with North Korea and had been in discussion with Beijing about the activities of entities inside China. Washington has been pushing for even tougher steps including an oil embargo, bans of North Korea's airlines and overseas workers and interception of its cargo ships.